Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back. If you're returning in today's video, I'm going to be doing my community savings challenges. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I am so excited. We have our community challenges binder here. We are going to start off with, you know what? First, let's see what we have today. Let's let's just let's just start from the beginning. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9. 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 66 dollars. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm going to pay my debt. I do owe the ding, ding, ding challenge two dollars. So we are going to put that in here and I need to condense this because this envelope is thick. All right, and I'm gonna put that in the back because hopefully we don't need it anymore. So this has been paid. Isn't this so cute? I got this uh, IOU slip from She's Got It. Love it, love it, love it. And we'll just pop that back there because hopefully we don't need that anymore either. Let's put this paper clip away so that I don't lose it because I love it. This is my official paper clip bag. <laughs> All right, I don't remember how much I said, but y'all heard me count. So we paid our debt. Let's go ahead and do this one. This challenge is from Ellie. Uh, Ellie on Earth. And this is a community challenge that she does send out. All right. So we got a four. A four today. Do I have? Yes, I have a one. So let's take that one out. And we will replace it with a five. And I will remember to shoot her a message to let her know what we saved this week. So that's exciting. And then we have this from Donna over at Donna Powered by Creativity. And if you are new here, this is a saving challenge that she put together. Her and I think it was saving with Mama Bear, I think. Uh, Mama Bear something about mama bear now i can't my brain is tired anyway <laughs> they put this together for the budgeting community three days a week different youtubers film videos where they stuff six dollars at a time i do not watch all those videos because it's a lot but i do play along with them and i just do my 18 dollars for the week so i stuff 18 dollars a week and go from there so let's roll I'll take a sip of this coffee. How cute is this cup? This is from my planner bestie, Simply Shantae Renee. Isn't this the cutest cup ever? I could not wait to use it today. Um, oh, and then my super cute coaster from Sweet Kawhi Design. Love it. Okay, so we got a four. So $2 is going into self-care. Okay, this is awkward. Oops. Oh, okay. Four again. One. One, two, three is debt. One again. Uh, three is debt. What about all the other numbers? Okay. <laughs> Six is O oh, poop. And I have two more rolls. Three again. What was three? Debt. Okay, I don't mind that one. And six. Oh, poop. All right. So today, Give Generously got $4. Holiday did not get anything. Debt got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars, which is awesome. Self-care got $4. 
And this is all money that I will be saving until the end of the year. So December 8th is the last day. My abundance fund did not get anything today. And then oh poop got four dollars which honestly these two at the end of the year will probably get combined all right so that brings me to our next challenge the one we have all been waiting for where detective butterfly comes to the scene dun 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 all right, on the last installment, we discovered that a blonde female stole someone's grocery cart in a crime of passion. Now we have to figure out where, when, and how. So that is what we are working towards. Hopefully today will be the day that we can crack the case. So let's get out our necessary crime fighting supplies. I need my orange my green and purple. I will take the magnifying glass in case those clues get too small to see. Here's my little, oh no. Oh, this is my little helper on the case. He's been helping me solve these crimes. And of course we need our dice. All right. And this can just sit back there and relax. Okay, so let's roll first to see which board. We yellow is done. Orange. All right, so we're figuring out the where, and I'm gonna do two times again. I think I was doing that before. So two times. So we got a two. which saves us $2. And we got a four, which saves us $1. I started doing these tally marks because I was trying to make sure that I had the right money in the right envelopes because I started um, cash condensing. <laughs> All right, orange again, very good. Five is two dollars and six is three dollars so we'll put that back and get a five oops that shouldn't be a three that should be a six okay i wrote down the amount of money not not what i rolled okay Let's check again, which board? Blue, is blue done? Yes, blue is finished. Orange again, okay, we really trying to figure out the where. All right, where? Let's see, five, which is $2. And a two again which is $2. All right. Blue is done. Blue, come on. Red is done, yes. Blue, y'all yeah, might have to, okay. I'm like, I might have to just go to the pages I need. <laughs> Two. It's a two, five also gets two, so close, purple, okay, purple, we're not done with purple, all right, so now we roll, so we got a five, which means we play on the green board, And we got a, a, a six and a four. Six and four. Oh, that's not purple. Four and six. We've already done that. Two and four. I 
I never, okay, yeah, we've already done that. <laughs> six and six is a miss. So that gets one. All right, let's see which board we're going to now again. So the green board again. Come on, I need a five and a two. Five and five is also a miss. Let's do it again. Oh, which board? Four is the blue board. Five and three or three and five. So both of those are misses. Okay, one more time. <laughs> three is the blue board again. Six and three or three and six. Both of those are misses. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Not getting very far along on this one. This one's going to be the one that gives us the most. But that how is always the trickiest. All right, purple again. We are on the green board. Five and four. So five and four. Or four. Y'all, I don't know. Five and four. <laughs> okay, so if we go five over, I never know how to do this. I'm, I feel like I'm doing this wrong every single time. And you would think as a teacher, but I... In my defense, I teach kindergarten. <laughs> All right, so six. We're still on the green board. Okay, so if we go one over and six down, we got a P, which is a hit. So that gets us $2. Now, if we go six over and one down, we already did that. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see. We are almost out of money. How much do we have left? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, $30. Purple again. Oh, I don't like this one. Three means we play the blue board. Good. Let's get two and four. Two. Hot dog. Okay. So over four, down two, we already did. Over two, down four, is a P, which is a hit. Over two, down four, over four, down two. Okay. We're going to go over and down. I think that makes it easier for me. Let's do, I need a four and a four. Okay. <laughs> over four, down one is a miss. Over one, down four is a miss. Okay, let's get some ones out of here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I have another one? Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Blue is done. Back to orange. Okay, we're going to finish orange. Five, which is two dollars. 
one, which is $1. And six, which is uh, three and three would be six. So we're gonna take these two back and put this. And this challenge is done. All right, so let me take a moment to tally this up and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, we have a tie. So it could either be Mexico, France, Spain, or Italy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is roll the dice. Whatever number it lands on is who did, is what country? Three, no, it can't be a three. I need a two, four, five, or six. Four it is, so it was in France. Francia. Four for France. So we know our where is in France, you guys. Yes. I mean, if I was going to go to France, that would probably be where I stole the grocery cart. <laughs> Okay, yay! All right, so a blonde female stole someone's grocery cart in France, and it was a crime of passion. We need to find out when and how. Those are the last two things left. But you guys, we are going to stop here for today. I do have some money left over, and we are going to roll out my newest community challenge which will be coming out in june it's already out let me rephrase it's already out but we will start playing it officially in june so i created this butterfly house challenge let me see where we are on time oh we're good Okay, I created this butterfly house challenge. So it says, welcome to the butterfly house. We hope that you brought a full wallet, lots of optimism and some power tools because there is so much work that needs to be done to bring this place back to life. Complete the challenges and watch as your beautiful butterfly house comes to life right before your eyes. After you have completed all of the task cards, you can hang up your open sign and welcome your new patrons. We cannot wait to hear all about your progress along the journey. Good luck. Brandy Janae, and I am the head entomologist. So I am using my butterfly binder that I used for Mini Mondays, and this will take the place of Mini Mondays in June because I already took the place of Fun Fridays <laughs> in May. So we're going to just switch it up. So in my Ko-Fi shop, you do have this welcome letter in a freebie, and then you also get your trackers. Oh, sorry. So you have a butterfly tracker, your net tracker, and then your plant tracker. Now, if every time you make a butterfly, you will also need to purchase one net to catch it, and you will need to do purchase one plant to feed it because you can't have butterflies without food. So when you have these, though, in order to actually buy a butterfly completely you do have to go through the stages so when it comes to this you can either choose whether you want to make every stage a dollar or if you want to do a roll and save that's why i just put a box there so you can choose the same with this you can choose if buying a butterfly costs a dollar or if you want to make it ten dollars or five dollars or whatever it is for your particular budget today because i don't have much money we're going to just be working with you know, everything's a dollar for today. But moving forward, I'm going to roll the die and then see. Actually, no, we're going to roll the die. We're going to just roll it and see what it is. These will always be a dollar for me, though. So a dollar for the butterfly, a dollar for the net, and then a dollar for the plant. But these ones will be rolling saves because I do. I want to save as much as possible. So in addition to getting your butterflies because it wouldn't be a butterfly house without butterflies you do have your construction tasks we need to get our building up to par so we're going to buy butterflies put them in cages until we have our construction completed once you have all of your butterflies and your construction completed then you are ready to open so exciting so i made these task cards which i have in here i'm going to switch the jar out but i couldn't find anything 
and I was ready to get this filmed um, because I want people to be able to purchase this and, you know, get started in June with me. So I figured I should show you how to play. So basically, all we're going to do is we're going to start um, and I already shuffled them up, but let's just do it again for the sake of being on camera. <laughs> And that way you guys can witness me shuffling. But yeah, I'm going to get a different container for those because I don't like this. I just, like I said, wanted to get this filmed today so that I could show you. Okay, so we'll put those there. So first card is, oh, construction card. I should have, um, so that is our countertop, which is the construction zone two. I'm going to roll and see. Okay, countertop cost me $1. So, yay. And we're just going to put that there. And I will put this in here. So, we are that much closer. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Okay. Oh, sweet. Same card. So chairs will cost me $4, which means I actually need, I'll just switch that out and put a five. And I should be using, I may switch this out for prop bills, you guys. I think I'm gonna switch this out for prop bills. Give me one second. Okay, sorry. So I'm gonna switch these out for prop bills because it'll be too hard for me to keep getting change. So let's put it. Yeah, this will be rather challenging. And I do the prop bills on Farm Island and I absolutely love it. So instead of this five, we're going to put this is that just one? Okay, yeah. Okay, and I think that's all I've done so far. So then this money will go in here. I knew I put that extra envelope in there for something. So 5, 10, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And five makes 15. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. All right. This will be much better. <laughs> All right, so I don't need this. I just put that back there. Okay, next card. A sign. All my construction task cards are in the same spot. All right, so a new sign is also in the gift shop. And let's roll. The sign costs five dollars. Our gift shop is going to be completed. So this is a menu sign for all of our yummy food and of course coffee because coffee is life. And if I'm going to anywhere, I want a coffee place. <laughs> all right, we have our brochures. I did not shuffle these very well. Our brochure is going to be $2. Yeah, I thought I shuffled them well, but I don't think so. $2 for the brochure. All right. Did I put the two? So I should have $10, $12. In. Okay, yeah. All right. Hopefully that new shuffle will shake some things up. Nope. Well, yes. At least it's in a different part. <laughs> All right. So now we're in the garden. 
This is the cleaning area because if you've been to a butterfly house, when you get ready to leave, there's like a big giant fans and it's supposed to blow the butterflies so that you don't take them home with you. And also be sure when you're in there, don't touch them because don't, that's bad. All right, so $2 for our fan. All right, next. Okay, we're still in the garden. Fruit. Woo! That fruit is expensive. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to switch out for a five and then a one. What do we have left? One, two, three, and four. Are we gonna have an IOU already? <laughs> Let's hope not. We have four left. Okay, last card. Let me shuffle them again. I still feel like they're all, I just wanna do it, at least start a butterfly. I don't really have enough to start a butterfly though. Probably. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Still in the garden. All right, let's see. Two. So we need our water feature because those are beautiful. And it adds to the rainforest vibes. All right, and one more card. Our bookshelf, which is in construction zone two, that's back in the coffee shop. Because our toy, our kids need toys. What do we have? We're gonna cheat and put two. All right, kids definitely need toys. What, a, what would be a gift shop without toys? Because, you know, kids. <laughs> so they get their butterfly toys and any other learning materials and games dealing with butterflies. All right, you guys, that is it. I'm super sad that I did not pick any butterflies today. We're gonna, let's just, let's just do it. And I'm gonna just have an IOU. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this is a, do your own. So you can design your own butterfly here. And let's say for instance, again, I'm going to do a roll and save. I'm not gonna count this. I'm just showing you so that you guys know what to do because <laughs> clearly I'm out of money. So for the egg, it would be $5. To turn it into the caterpillar is four. We got four for the chrysalis stage and then four for our actual butterfly. So this will be four, eight, 12, 17 for this one. And then of course I would color it. Yours could be obviously a lot better than this. I'm just showing you. So once I pay this part, which is, I'm just gonna write that up there so I don't forget, $17 for this one. Or again, you could do $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, whatever makes you happy or $2, $2, you know, whatever. So $17 for this part. Then I would have to come here, color in my tracker. So now we're up to 18. Color in my net. So now we're up to 19 and color in my plant. And so now we're up to $20 <laughs> for this designer butterfly. 
$20 for this designer butterfly. So you can kind of see how that would all work based upon, you know, what you wanted to do. So if you made these all ones, then your butterflies will be $7 each. If you made them all twos, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. $11 each if you made them all too. So it just kind of depends, like I said, on your budget and what you want to do. But that's how the butterfly portion would be paid. Those are obviously the most expensive things because that's the star of the show. So I hope all of that makes sense. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I also hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, put a butterfly in the comments just so I know you made it this far. And also let me know if you have already purchased the tracker or purchased the game because I'm looking forward to seeing who is going to be playing with us in June so that I can leave your name in the comments below. You guys are amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet, and be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.